على رسول الله على آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Respected brothers and sisters, all praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us the opportunity to come to his house to perform salah. We ask Allah azza wa jal to bless us on this blessed day and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all types of evil. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. <clears throat> from the duty of a believer that he owes to another believer just by having to share the same faith. There are certain responsibilities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given order for this believer to fulfill. And why these responsibilities have been given? Because the world Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us in, it's a place of fulfilling of responsibilities. As Allah azza wa jal described, in the Quran addressing to Prophet Adam alayhi salatu was salam فَإِمَّا يَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا that when you will go into this world there will be certain guidance that you will have to follow there will be certain rules and regulations that you will have to comprehend and fulfill in this world and those who will fulfill those rules and regulations Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they won't have any fear or grief in their life so there is these responsibilities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to fulfill. And as we were going through different responsibilities, one of the responsibility that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the believers to fulfill towards another believer is attending the funeral. Ittiba'ul janazah. And this is something that is not only beneficial or a right that you owe to another believer, but is also a benefit that comes your way. As the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described, that you should often go and visit the graveyard and oft, often whenever you get an opportunity to follow the funeral. Why? Because this will make you remember your akhirah. This will make you remember that one day you will have to also depart from this world. A person becomes obe disobedience toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the main uh, component that is found is a person becomes completely oblivious and completely ignorant for the fact that he has to depart from this world. So when a person makes a habit of attending the janazah again and again, this should be a reminder. And it, it always should be, should be a reminder for him that today I am attending someone else's funeral, tomorrow someone else will be attending my funeral. Today if I were to hold someone on my shoulder, tomorrow someone else will be holding me, someone else will be holding me on their shoulder. And this is the circle of Allah, the cycle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا جَعَلْنَا لِبَشَرٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ الْخُلْدِ Allah says, we never created anyone to live forever. أَفَإِن مِتَّ فَهُمُ الْخَالِدُونَ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ That you are, going to die, they are, you are going to die and they will live forever, addressing to the people of Mecca. And then Allah Azza wa Jal says that every soul is going to taste death. So now amongst the preparation of our own death, it is that essential that we also attend the funerals of other people. Why? Because if we attend the funeral of other, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make other people attend our funeral. And Aisha radiallahu anha described in the hadith of Imam Ahmad's Musnad, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives an opportunity for a hundred people to attend someone else's funeral, Allah Azza wa Jal has decided that their intercession will be accepted on the behalf of the deceit and Allah will forgive the deceit. So when we will make ourselves available for other people's funeral, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make other people available for our funeral. And when we will go and attend the funeral of other people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make 
the pious individual attend our funeral. And the reward itself is very great. As the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu describes, Imam Muslim has recorded this narration, that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the person who goes and he f- prays the janazah of a, of a deceit, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him the reward of one qirat. And the one who will go and attend it all the way till the end, the burial is done, Allah will give him two qirat. The Sahabi asked, Ya Rasulullah, what are these qirat? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, they are equivalent to the mountain of Ahad. And in another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the smallest amount that a person will receive in reward is the mountain of Ahad. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can increase for whoever he wishes. So these are certain. Now when we come to attend the Salat al-Janazah of someone, there should be this uh, feeling that we should have in our heart. Number one, if we know the person, always remember their good things and talk about their good things. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Udhkuru mahasina mawtakum. That remember and refresh your mind with the good qualities of your deceit. Why? Antum shuhada'ullahi ala al-ard. You are the witness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the universe. As the janazah was passing by, people started to talk good things about it. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wajabat, wajabat. It has become compulsory, it has become compulsory. And after that, a few uh, you know, minutes later, another janazah went past and people started to talk a uh, bad thing about the person and his bad qualities that he had done in this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah rasul alayhi salatu wa salam said, wajabat, wajabat. The compul- it has become compulsory, it has become compulsory. The Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, what is this? That each time when we talk the good uh, uh, characteristics of, of, about a funeral, you said the same thing. When we talked the bad characteristics about a funeral, you said the same thing. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you are the witness of Allah on the earth. However you will describe your deceit, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deal with him. So this is why it is a responsibility of every believer that whenever you see a person departing from this world and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you a connection with him or you attend, you happen to attend the funeral of that individual, always remember them with good qualities because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make other people remember us when we depart from this world by our good qualities. Right? This is a very important thing. A lot of times people say, oh, may Allah forgive him, he was not a good guy. Or may Allah. If we know that a person has died with Iman, that's it. No matter what he has done in this world, this is between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are not here to judge other people's action. We know if a person died in good faith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he always has the chance that Allah will forgive him. And by us not talking in good of him, there is a possibility that Allah will forgive that individual and he will hold us accountable. So this is a, a, a duty, a responsibility that we owe towards other believers. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us the strength, the ability, and the courage to fulfill it the right way that Allah Azza wa Jal wants us to fulfill. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to also make us amongst the individuals that when we depart from this world, we leave good memories behind and not bad ones. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullahu khairan. Subhanallahu bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Wa nashidu wa la ilaha illa anta nasafirika wa natubu ilayka.